Hey, what's up guys? 98 Sports Talk here. So we've got some comments today uh, from Phil Fulmer and, you know, there have been rumors that he's, you know, getting back kind of into the mix here and wanting to really take the Tennessee head coaching job again. And, you know, again, these are just rumors. Nobody knows for sure. But, you know, a lot of this does make some sense. Uh, a lot of people believe that he sabotaged Johnny Majors to, uh, to take his job. Um, there are some coach, there are some rumors uh, swirling that he sabotaged the current coaching search and you know then he kind of swooped in to save the day uh, and hired Jeremy Pruitt. So you know I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's it's a lot to do about nothing. Um, you know, Fulmer's got a radio, you know, he does a radio show, so he's obviously going to be asked questions, so he's, he's going to answer, so he's going to be in the news, he's going to be saying things. So this could just, you know, again, this could be nothing or it could be something. I mean, Fulmer's obviously proved that he's had, you know, a, a, an agenda in my mind, you know, with the Johnny Major situation and him taking over. So, you know, there could be, uh, you know, there could be something here. Um, and I'll go ahead and play this audio for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. You know, do you think Fulmer is is trying to, you know, play games here and secretly pulling strings and wants Pruitt to fail? Or, you know, do you think he's just answering questions and, and you know, there's not much here? But anyways, here's the audio. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That's a fine line. You know, I, I'm not the coach. I don't want to be the coach. He's the coach. He's going to make the you know, personnel decisions. He's going to make the third and short or the fourth and short call either side or when to blitz or when to play prevent, you know, all those yeah. things. But if I can keep him out of a ditch that I may have been in before or Coach Dickey kept me out of, you know, somewhere along the way, or just to have general conversation that with somebody that I don't have an agenda except that he has success. Exactly. That's my agenda. Everybody else around him. Coordinators included oftentimes can have, well, I want to leave the conference in passing so I can get a head coaching job. I want to do this, this, you know. I mean, everybody has an agenda. I don't. I, I'm interested in our program getting back to competing at a championship. So, and I'll stop it right there. So, you guys notice how Fulmer keeps saying, well, I don't have an agenda. I don't have an agenda. And that kind of leads me to believe he has an agenda, you know, and then he goes about, it uh, goes on to talk about how other coaches within programs, you know, just generalizing there, that other coaches, say the offensive coordinator in a program, would have an agenda to maybe go on and get a head coaching job. So maybe he wanted to pass the ball, you know, a billion times, rack up a bunch of passing yards so he, that particular coach could go get another job. So he, he's kind of saying, you know, in, the, in, this, uh, in this audio here that, you know, other people will have an agenda, but I don't have an agenda, right? I mean, I, I don't really buy that. Um, that, you know, that kind of tells me that he definitely does have an agenda. But I'm just not sure that there's there's really anything here because I think Jeremy Pruitt is going to be a really good coach for Tennessee. And I don't think, you know, if, if Pruitt succeeds, if he does do a good job, then there, there's going to be no place for, for uh, Fulmer. Now, if Pruitt doesn't do a good job, then, you know, then you're going to have some conversations starting of, you know, will Fulmer take over, you know, will he fire Pruitt and take over his head, head coach, blah, blah, you know, this and that. So there could be some issues if Pruitt does not succeed. But again, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Pruitt's going to put together a good program and have Tennessee back where Tennessee fans want them to be. Um, but that's that's my own opinion, and some of you guys disagree. I do think Tennessee is going to have uh, possibly a rough year this year, especially with Trey Smith being out still with the uh, the medical issue. Uh, you know, Tennessee's offensive line is going to be hurting. Uh, running back is a question. Quarterbacks, I mean, literally, pretty much every position on the field is a question mark for Tennessee at this point. Um, so I do think it could be a rough season for Tennessee and Tennessee fans, but I do think Pruitt is the right coach to get, a, you know, Fulmer did get it right in the end. Um, but, you know, again, let me know what you guys think. And also I wanted to add this to, according to, um, Mike Wilson of the Knoxville News Sentinel, uh, he looked up the phone records for Tennessee's president, Joe DiPietro. And according to, to, to the phone records, Fulmer was um, 
was uh, on on record saying that he was talking to a large Tennessee donor saying all they would have to do is ask me to be the head coach. And I'm kind of paraphrasing there. But basically, Fulmer's essentially admitting in that that he would, you know, take over the head coaching position in a heartbeat um, to a donor there. So, you know, I don't I don't know. Again, I don't know um, if there's going to be anything coming uh, down the road simply because I do think Pruitt's going to have a good record and he's going to, ha- you know, he's going to take this program where Tennessee fans want it to go. But like I said before, if that's if I'm wrong and that's not the case and Pruitt goes out there and has a bad season number two, I don't think you can really judge him on season one simply because, you know, he didn't have enough time to recruit. Uh, and again, Trey Smith is out. And he doesn't have a lot of talent there right now. Um, So, again, don't think you can grade Pruitt season one, but, you know, you can start to look at what he's what he's doing, how his team plays and uh, maybe his record in season two. But, you know, realistically, we probably need to wait till season number three. Um, But again, I just don't think there's there's too much here. I don't think it's going to be an issue down the road, but it definitely could be. What do you guys think? You guys think this is. uh, you know, a whole bunch to do about nothing, or do you think, do you guys see a, a potential issue down the road? Do you guys think Fulmer's going to be meddling, and, uh, you know, him and uh, Pruitt are going to head, you know, butt heads? Um, we'll see. I don't, again, don't think it's going to happen, but it could happen. Clearly, I, I do, I think, I think Fulmer has an agenda, but again, I just, I don't see that uh, anything's going to come of it, so... But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And if you haven't subbed yet, please do so. Smash that sub button right there. We're building up this SEC community. Got over 100 subs already. Doing well even in the off season. I'm cranking out vids. And if you guys want to see any videos, just request it down in the comments section. I'm reading every single comment from from you guys and replying to most of them. Um, And uh, yeah, just uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. More to come, and I'll see you guys in the next video.